the problems is to bring in more revenue. And so I think that it's time to start encouraging people to come back and on a more of a grand scale. And, and that's something we'll be talking about at CAPC too, I'm sure on Wednesday when we have that meeting. It's, uh, you know, there's the risk of the COVID, absolutely. I can't deny that it's not there. But uh, I think the population is wanting to get out. I've seen it not just here, but in other places. And, uh, and, and I think we need to copy. Ms. Harmon? Yeah, I, I just want to say that, um, you know, this is not for any of us an easy place to be. And we all have our opinions and we, we all think of different areas of the city budget in, in different ways. Um, and, I, and I really do hope, you know, at the end of the year, we can say we did the best that we could. And that, uh, you know, to Terry's point, that we're busier than we think we're going to be for the rest of the year and we bring in extra cash. But, uh, you know, none of, none of us expected to be in this situation. We expected the budget to be the same as it has always been and to make a few minor adjustments here and there. Uh, so this is not something that any of us take lightly. Um, and, uh, you know, we have to do this as a team without, uh, without imploding upon ourselves uh, in this particular situation. So we may not always agree with each other, but we're basically in it together. So. Yeah. And on line uh, 01, 125, all the way, I don't have any last time. But anyway, animal control is funded, okay? In this budget. As of June 1st? Nope. Just voted on. As of June 1st? Nope. You just voted on. Yeah. As of June 1st? Uh, no. Please. You have so, so unless, unless it's, this is, unless what we just passed is, it's true. So anyway, we've made some cuts, and maybe we won't have to make any more. Who knows? We've got to keep our nose to the, to the wind and watch and see what happens. It's you, Bob. Two, two comments. I'd like to support what Ms. Harmon said, because united we stand and divided we fall. We function as a council. Once council has voted, that's that's the position we're going to support. And I believe that firmly. The other thing is, it's been a great weekend, but I would like to remind everybody that we're supposed to be thinking about all of the people who've gone before us and died in service to their country. And I certainly do appreciate everything that's been done in the past because I like where we are today. Well, I agree with Susan and Bob. We are need to be united. And this was painful tonight. We didn't want to do this. This isn't something we so oh, we're going to do it. It had to be done. And I'm hoping that this weekend is an indicator that things are coming back and that maybe we won't. In three months, we can revise this budget up. But we have to do it. I mean, if you have no money to pay for something, you can't pay it. So it, it doesn't matter. And I don't know if Jimmy's going to be cut or not, Mickey, and that is hard for me because, you know, I'm very involved in that. But it's just, you know, this was painful, and I'm really proud of everybody sitting at this table. I think you did really well. I, which I think, and Lonnie, the budget, and Kim, that you worked on, I think you did it as hard as you could, and, and it was painful for you guys. So I appreciate it. Ms. Wright? Okay. Just to clarify, in the budget that was presented, it includes the ACO's salary. As of June 1st, it disappears. That's how it was written up. Now, I made this shirt, I'm hoping it can be seen, 16 years ago when my, how's that? 16 years ago when my Marine son 
was stuck in Iraq for a year. Um, I wear it every Memorial Day. We normally do not meet today. I do want to make sure you all understand that. But as was pointed out, because of the shutdown, it's not like we have any events to go to, so why not? But yes, normally, veterans, please, thank you very much for all you've done. Take care and keep doing, and know that hopefully next year we won't be meeting today. Thank you very much. Well, I want to, I have a lot of thanks for it, and I want to thank the uh, city council for working with me and, and the departments on getting this budget. It hasn't been easy, and I certainly owe a big, big thank you to Lonnie and, and Kim. Uh, they have been just of immense value uh, to me and to the city in trying to find ways that we can come up to what the city council has tried to wanted us to do at the last council meeting. This has never been easy, um, and it's, it is a, a difficult situation that we're in. And I'm very proud of, of our department heads uh, for what they've done in, in reducing and tightening their belts. They've already started implementing a lot of these cuts prior to us even going through and talking about this. So even though we said and I heard this said at the last meeting, or the meeting before last, we should have started two months ago. Well, the department heads had already started doing that. We had told them earlier. Uh, there's some things in this budget that hadn't been addressed before, and you know, now we're, we're looking at it. That's going to be addressed. Uh, it can only be addressed because of the council, and I really appreciate you all for everything you all have done. Uh, we had uh, a lot of people in town. Uh, it was good. Uh, I did get a phone call from uh, a gentleman who said, Butch, the trash at Sweet Spring is overflowing. Can you have somebody come by and pick it up? <laughs> well, that's out to all the public. We're not going to be able to do all the trash pickups that we're accustomed to uh, as much as we'd like to. The grass is not going to be cut as much as we want to. I'm going to start asking the citizens if, to help pick up trash. I'm not saying pick it up out of the garbage and put it in the car or anything. If you see something on the street, pick it up and throw it in the garbage can. You know, if you see some grass out in your sidewalk, take your way to your out and cut it. We don't have the staff that we're going to have. We may have it in three months, six months. But we're going to all have to work together to make this thing work. Uh, you know, the fire and the police have been cut. The public courts have been cut. And we're going to see those things happen with us. So. We're all going to have to work together and, and be able to come up and keep our city operating and be presentable to our citizens and the, the visitors that come here. Uh, you know, and so, and we still have our trash pickup. You know, unfortunately, uh, Dwayne had somebody scheduled to come by on Sunday uh, and pick up the trash. And so the trash was emptied, you know. But it's not going to be like it was when we were used to. Nothing's going to be like what we were used to. We're all going to have to be thinking a different way. Well, I need all your support. If you think of ways that we can, you know, entice an industry to come in here, let me know. I'll be glad to call somebody. We need more businesses in here. We know how much this tourism dependency has hurt us. And I've been trying for four years uh, to work with uh, some sort of, of uh, getting a new business industry in town. And I still think we've got some opportunities for that. Uh, I've been talking to some people and I'm hoping we can still see some progress in that area. So I want to thank everybody, really, from the depths of my heart, especially Ronnie and Kim. Uh, this hasn't been easy. Uh, I've snapped at Ronnie, I've snapped at Kim. Uh, tempers got a little tight because of <laughs> When you're cutting salaries, and he makes it not mine, I'm like my granddad, I'm still tighter than a park on a tree, and I don't like to do it, especially when you're talking about you know, the city's employees. It's, uh, I apologize for that. Uh, ben Memorial Day, I want to recognize all of our veterans out there and thank them for their service. This morning, uh, Ferguson, Stewart, and I Instead of having our annual memorial celebration, Ferguson and I walk around the cemetery 
and tore the veterans' graves and held a little ceremony at each group of graves. Uh, and that was you know, our way of paying respects to the veterans that had gone on before us. Uh, we, we stopped in front of the, uh, the veterans in Spanish-American wars all the way up through the Vietnam War to Afghanistan. Uh, and the ones who just died recently because of the COVID virus. So I appreciate you, everything and all, all that you've suffered and served for your country. Thank you very much. Um, and that's all I have. I'll take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.